Okay, so this is the explanation for the big card trick. So each student will have their own jumbo card, it, different ones. Whichever one it is, find the little card that matches that. And to start with, you have it underneath there. And I like to have the corner of the card protruding over the table. That way, I can easily grab both of them when I pick it up. If it's like this, it's you got to fudge with it a lot more. Okay, so you got it here. So you have them shuffle the cards, and you're going to deal them down, and you ask them to tell me, tell you when to stop. Now, as you deal them, you notice you're dealing them in a, a kind of sloppy pile. You want them a little sloppy. Because when you throw this on, if they're all neat, but there's one askew, it's going to look a little more suspicious. All right, so he says stop. And then you want to say, are you, are you sure you, don't, what you want, don't want me to deal a couple more? You want to stop there? And they might say, yeah, deal a couple more. OK, you want to stop there? Yeah. Are you sure? OK. Now, you may have noticed, and you just throw this on the type, that I keep a, a jumbo card here. And pick up the card that you stopped me at. It's the five of clubs. And what puzzled me is how you knew card that I had was also the five o'clock.